welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something a little bit different than I normally do. Normally all my videos are overhead shots of just my hands, um, but I'm going to be doing kind of a like vlogish style video, I guess you could say. Um, I received some fabric from one of my most favorite fabric, fabric companies and I wanted to record myself sewing it up. So this shirt that I'm wearing right now is actually what I will be filming today, the process of me making that shirt. I am obviously filming this intro after the fact, so I'm not 100% I'm not sure how it's all gonna turn out just yet because this is the first time I've tried to do a video like this, so hopefully it is great maybe even just good. I'll settle for that. Um, but before I get into the process of everything, I wanted to show you the fabric. So I have this fabric. This is a bamboo lycra fabric. It's going to be from Rocker by D Stash Fabrics and I'll have the website, the Facebook group and everything linked down below for you. I am a part of the strike off team for Rocker by D Stash Fabrics and I have been for a really long time. I think since like 2016 I've been sewing up fabrics from Amber and uh, I just love them so much like I, I couldn't promote them enough. So this is the bamboo lycra fabric and it's going to be like a lace print. There's a ton of beautiful colors but I got the more skin tone colors. There's three different color variations for skin tones that are not exact obviously but like with the lace overlay on it it I feel like is blending beautifully with the multiple types of skin tones so I have this one and I believe this is the sandy colorway and then I also have the gray colorway in cotton lycra so this one I haven't sewn up just yet and I will not be including it in this video for the sake of time because I need to get it sewed up this afternoon um, and my kids are going to be home soon so that'll be a wild situation if I'm trying to record and do all that. Um, so I won't have this fabric in my video today but I will share it on my Instagram account if you want to see a photo of it there and then also in the Facebook group um, for Rocker by D Stash Fabrics. Anyways, um, I am using the Tie Up T? I can't remember the name off the top of my head because I have awful short term memory. But it's uh, from Patterns for Pirates, this shirt pattern. And I'll have that link down below for you as well if you're interested in checking it out. Um, anyways, enjoy the video and I hope it's helpful or at least entertaining <laughs> and I will see you in the next one bye so the first thing that I'm gonna do is clear off my dining room table we have an office that I do most of my paper crafting in but my sewing machines are just very big and very bulky so I keep them in one of my cube storages and just kind of pull them out and set them on the table whenever I am ready to start sewing so here is my pattern that I'm going to be using, the tie-up top from Patterns for Pirates. Like I said, I'll have that linked below. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fabric cut out. I do only fully record cutting this first piece, and I do actually end up messing it up <laughs> when I go to cut the back portion of the shirt. I was supposed to have cut it on the fold, and I think I was talking to my husband at the time that I was actually cutting the fabric and just cut it into two separate pieces. You'll see that a little bit later when I get to that piece. Um, I think that I will do that right after the sleeves. So while I'm cutting, I did want to talk a little bit about Rocker by D-Stash Fabrics. They are a custom fabric company. So basically uh, Amber, the owner, designs fabric and then custom orders it uh, from a print shop that she works with she's been working with them for a long time 
It is done on a pre-order basis and normally takes about a total of 10 to 12 weeks before you would have the fabric in hand if you place an order. I myself have been ordering from Amber since before I started doing strike offs for her, so making samples with the fabric that is available. So she's been doing this for a while, a very long time, um, and she's great at it. So like I said in my opening, I will have everything linked down below if you are interested in this fabric um, and seeing some of the makes that our other strike off seamstresses have made. Um, like they're amazing, amazing. So check her out, check the group out, check the website out. There is a retail shop as well. If you do purchase fabric and you don't want to jump right into a pre-order, you can purchase from the retail site um, and have your ready to ship fabric sent out to you. So right now is where I noticed that I messed up. Um, I did not actually cut my pattern on a fold like I was supposed to. So I'm kind of placing it next to each, p placing the two pieces back next to each other to figure out how much I'll lose when I sew them together, which is going to end up being about a half of an inch. Um, but I figured ultimately it's not really going to make that much of a difference um, and just set it aside and I'm just going to have a front seam and a back seam and two side seams when I sew everything together. So the last piece that I'm cutting out is going to be the neckband. I personally always have issues with neckbands, so I always cut them a little bit li larger than what the pattern advises. I always add like a quarter of an inch to it, um, basically to just kind of compensate for the seam allowance that I, I'm going to be taking off. And I still sometimes feel like my neckbands are too small. I don't know if it's me or what, but I added a little bit extra onto this one just like I normally do. I am going to start lining up my pieces and clipping them together. I'm not going to do too many clips on each one um, and I'm not going to clip anything but the bodice pieces so far. So my two front pieces and my two back pieces. And I'm going to work on those and then as I'm sewing I will start clipping like my arm pieces, my, um, my sleeves, and then my neck bands and stuff. I'll do that while I'm sewing. Once I've got my uh, fronts and back seams and then my side seams sewn together. Moving over to my serger, I am gonna go ahead and pull some of the scraps uh, from trimming out my pattern and use those uh, a double layer to kind of determine if my settings are correct. Every time you sew with fabric, I like to just use like a little sample piece to make sure everything is working properly and my stitches and everything like that are actually coming out the way that they should be. So you'll notice that um, I did my initial one and then I messed with my buttons a little bit and then did it again. I was pleased with the second result, so I'm going to jump right in and start sewing everything together. This first piece that I'm sewing is that back piece that should have been cut on the fold. What I'm doing here is I'm actually not using the full seam allowance that the pattern calls for because technically there's not supposed to be a seam on the back. The pattern has a half inch seam allowance on all pieces, so what I did was just cut along the edge, um, but I only did it long enough for the actual uh, serger stitch. So it's about a fourth of an inch on each piece, so it's going to total a half of an inch as well. Um, and then everything else, I'm going to use the true seam allowance, which is going to be a half of an inch, so it'll take like an inch off once I'm sewing those pieces together. So once I get my front seam and my back seam done, I'm going to sew my shoulder seams. And then once I have those done, I'm going to go ahead and sew my side seams. And then once my side seams are done, I'm going to move on and attach my sleeves to the shoulder seams. I did kind of glance at the pattern instructions uh, when I downloaded this pattern, but that's also another thing that I'm a little bit chaotic with. 
um, unless I'm actually testing a pattern, I'll just do a quick glance at the pattern and see if there's anything like outside of the norm of what I know how to do or what I would normally do when sewing something together. And if there isn't, if it doesn't look like there's anything like popping out to me, then I'll just kind of sew it how I think it needs to be sewn. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure that comes with the more you've been sewing. Um, but yeah, I just kind of glance at the pattern. I'm not referencing the pattern at all. I'm barely referencing or measuring anything when it comes to my actual pattern and sewing everything together. I talk a little bit about this at the end, but I, I think I'd consider myself a little bit of a chaotic neutral. Like sometimes I'll follow rules, but for the most part, I just kind of wing it a little bit. Um, unless, like I said, I'm doing my sewing to like test a pattern where like it actually matters that I'm following the instructions or if I'm sewing as like a gift for someone or if I'm sewing to sell something. I'll make sure that I'm doing things properly that way, but this is just for me. So I'm just gonna wing it if I, if I so desire, you know? <laughs> When it comes to sewing on sleeves, I personally struggle with clipping the whole sleeve on at once. Like if I clip all my ends together all at once, I find that I have a harder time getting the sleeve on itself. So what I normally do is I clip my first part and then I'll clip the center of the sleeve. And then once I get to the center, I'll line up the other side of the sleeve and clip that. I When I do it that way, I find I have a lot easier of a process sewing it on, but that could just be another like random me thing. Um, I think when, when it comes to it, like everybody has their own little quirks when it comes to sewing or doing any type of crafting project in general. And this is just one of those things that I have. <laughs> This isn't something that I mentioned earlier um, because it slipped my mind while I was talking about Rocco by Sash. Um, but if you are interested in this wonderful fabric that I'm sewing up um, and you do want to participate in the pre-order, the pre-order opens on May 1st, which when I post this video will be today. It'll be open today and it is running through May 15th. So if you wanted to participate, you'd need to have your order in before May 15th in order to be added to the pre-order list um, and have your order included. Like I said before though, if you just wanna try out the fabric, there is a retail fabric site as well um, that you can go in and you can order whatever retail fabric is available. Um, that way you can try it out. Amber has a ton of bases and every single one of them that I have personally tried, I have loved. I quite literally have just bins of her fabric and it's just, it's my favorite. So I am finally uh, finished getting my sleeves on and working on sewing my sides together. And then after I get the sides sewed together, I'm actually gonna stop sewing for the night that I'm filming this. I filmed this a couple of days ago and it was already like 9 p.m. At the beginning of this video, it was like 5 p.m. I don't know, I sewed for a long time. Um, and I've got this fast forwarded to 250%. So if that gives you any indication of how long this took me. Um, 
I was stopping here and there for kids, this, that, other reasons, eat dinner, stuff like that. So it was a very prolonged period of time that I was sewing or trying to sew really would probably be the better phrase for that. Um, but yeah, so I finished this up today on my lunch break at work. Uh, so I get an hour long lunch break. So I took my break, went over to the kitchen table. I had everything set up same as I did a couple of days ago and just powered through the last little bit of it. And I went ahead and recorded my opening and my little bit of a closing and yeah. So we're going to get the other side of this sewn up and then it will be on to the next day. Hi, it's a new day here. So I stopped my sewing at about here. So I've got my top all pieced together. Um, and the last thing that I need to do before it's completely done is hem the sleeves, uh, top stitch my neck band, and then decide if I actually want to place a hem on the bottom portion of it. I did do a fit test and it fits me great. And with the wraparound aspect of it, I'm not entirely sure that I need to hem the bottom. And since this is bamboo lycra, it's not really gonna be rolling too much. So it should be fine if I just left it as is. But I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna hem. Hemming is probably my least favorite part of sewing. One of them, uh, the cutting of the pattern is my other least favorite part. Um, so I might forego it and just come back at a later time if I decide that I want it to be hemmed. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna hem the sleeves and do my top stitch around the neck. And then I will be done with this top and I can move along to the cotton lycra that I have to sew up as well. So let's jump right back in because I need to take some pictures of this this afternoon. <laughs> The first thing that I am going to do is grab one of my scrap pieces that I was testing my serger on the other day. Um, and I'm gonna just test out to make sure my settings are correct on my cover stitch. And I'm using the Juki MCS 1500 cover stitch, mach cover stitch machine. So I'm getting my settings all figured out here. It doesn't take too long to do it, but I think I, I said this earlier, it really is a great recommendation just to kind of test the fabric that you're using because even if you are using the exact same type of fabric, every print or version of that fabric is going to be a little bit different unless it was printed in the exact same lot. So it's always good to just kind of test and make sure your settings are working for what you're doing. What I am doing now is I'm actually taking my scissors and I'm folding over each of my seams and kind of just pounding on it a little bit with my scissors to flatten that seam out some. Um, and I'm doing this because I have noticed in the past with my cover stitch that when I go over seams, it increases the potential of a skipped stitch on the opposite side and I don't know about you but I don't like that look so I, if I pound down the seams a little bit to flatten them out some it reduces a little bit of that bulk and allows for the seam to go through the cover stitch a little bit easier reducing the chances of it skipping a stitch over that particular part. So once I get my top stitch done around my neckband, I'm just gonna kind of wing it with 
folding over my armbands. I'm gonna just kind of pick a length that looks good for my fold over and then I'm gonna eyeball it all the way around and hope that it matches. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that on both sides and hope that both sides match. Um, I personally feel like I'm pretty good at eyeballing, so I don't usually run into any issues, but some people would prefer to actually lay it out and measure it. I am just not one of those people. <laughs> I would kind of classify my sewing as one of like chaotic neutral maybe I don't really measure anything um, I pin sometimes but not a lot if that makes sense like the only things that I really pin, like I probably should, are neckbands. Um, for everything else, I only put like one or two pins or clips down to keep it where it needs to be. And then half the time, I think I just pull those out of my fabric before I'm anywhere even close to them while I'm actually sewing. So. I don't know, it might be a little chaotic over here for those that are watching, especially if you're a rule follower. Um, but it works for me, I guess. <laughs> This is the final result. And like I said, you can't really tell that it's not hemmed because it kind of wraps around. So, <laughs> I am in love with it. I'm probably gonna wear this all the time. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I have quite a lot of sewing experience. I used to actually sew clothes to sew, obviously. I did not do it as chaotic neutral as I do now, um, since I'm just sewing for myself, but I've got quite a bit of experience with it. So if you wanna see any type of videos, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see and maybe I can throw something together. So this is gonna be my first piece. I also have this fabric as well, which is cotton lycra, and you can tell that it's a little bit stiffer. Uh, it's a little bit thicker as well. This is more drapey. Um, I haven't fully decided what I'm gonna make with this one yet. Um, I might make something for my daughter. I might make some leggings for myself, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, this one I may or may not record, but if you follow me on Instagram, I will definitely uh, 
show a photo there of what whatever I finish making when I set this up. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.